now by St. Louis Fed President James Buller here at Consensus. Uh, great to have you on, President Buller. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Not the type of conference we typically see you at. So help us understand why is a top U.S. policymaker like yourself here talking about digital currencies? Well, we think uh, blockchain technology is very interesting, and of course, there's been a lot of uh, new issuance of uh, cryptocurrencies, so we're keeping an eye on that. Uh, so we want to be very engaged and uh, thoughtful about as this proceeds. I just watched your presentation, very in-depth analysis. You mentioned the Venezuelan Boulevard, inflation in Aus Austria when looking at digital currencies, but break it down for us. Bitcoin and crypto, is it good or bad for the U.S. economy? I'm sorry, what does it mean for the U.S.? For the U.S. economy, what is the potential economic impact? Uh, well, some of my points were that uh, cryptocurrency is facilitating trade that would not otherwise occur. Uh, some of that's illegal, but some of that is just avoiding uh, costs that would otherwise be there. So to the extent you get the latter part, uh, that would be a strength of the cryptocurrency. Uh, another part of my talk was talking about how uh, when you have a lot of currency, different currencies trading around, the exchange rate problem is a big deal because you don't know how they're going to trade against each other. And that happens even with big time currencies like the yen and the dollar. Is Bitcoin a threat to the U.S. dollar? Uh, I don't think so at this point. Uh, I think the but dollar, the, well, we don't know how the future is going to unfold. But um, my idea is that there's a lot of currency competition going on right now. The dollar has been the winner. Uh, historically because it's backed by the largest economy and a relatively stable policy in terms of low inflation and that's going to be tough to beat uh, but a lot of people here want to beat it. Some are speculating that with your presence here President Bullard it's a sign that the Fed may be trying to one day embrace their own digital currency a Fed coin if you will. True or false? Uh, well, we can certainly look at that as a possibility, and uh, there are different parts of the Fed that look at all kinds of applications of blockchain technology, but uh, I wouldn't say there's any plan at this point or anything imminent. My own personal opinion is I don't, at this point, I don't see what the gains would be to the Fed from that, but I'd certainly keep an open mind. Yeah. When we look at the global landscape, uh, there's been a lot of talk about rising U.S. dollar, rising rates, and the impact it could have on emerging market nations. Uh, recently, we've seen a lot of outflows out of emerging market debt. How does the Fed continue to raise rates without inflicting pain on some of these vulnerable emerging economies like Argentina? Uh, well, the idea has been that the U.S. Uh, runs monetary policy for the U.S. and the other countries have to run their own monetary policies and manage their exchange rates to the extent they can and to the extent they want to. Um, so, uh, you know, this has been an issue over the last five years, I know, but um, our policy is really to take care of the U.S. economy as best we can. We understand that uh, uh, capital flows come in and out and that this does feed back to the U.S. economy. We take that into account when we're making U.S. monetary policy. Let's talk about oil prices, which have been on the rise ever since President Trump announced that the United States will be pulling out of the Iranian nuclear accord. Higher oil prices tends to lead to higher inflation. Are you concerned? Uh, I would say the biggest issue with oil prices is that uh, they have moved up and it does look fairly sticky. But this will also encourage U.S. production, and compared to years past, uh, oil prices have a more neutral effect on the U.S. economy. It used to be a big oil shock was probably bad news for the U.S. economy, but now I think it's neutral. It hurts our uh, consumer side, but it helps us on the production side, and it more or less washes out at this point. So. I think it's not what it used to be uh, to track oil prices for the U.S. economy. But you tend to be a bit more dovish, but if we do see a significant rise in inflation, will that push the Fed to raise rates maybe two or even three times this I year? I think the key issue there is the word significant. Are we going to see inflation that's more or less where it is today? The Dallas Fed trim mean year-over-year -year inflation rate is 1.8 percent. That doesn't sound very high to me. It hasn't changed much in the last year. Um, it's possible that will tick up a little bit, but that would just get it closer to our target. All right, so we do, will we see a rate hike in June? Sorry? Will we see a rate hike in June? Um, I, well, we'll have to wait for the meeting and see what happens. All right, we'll leave it there. President Buller, thank you for your time. Great to get All your right, thoughts on All right, thanks for having crypto me. I really appreciate it. And the U.S. economy. Guys, sending it back to you.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.